All right, so I showed you my bag in a previous video, and one of the things that was in it was uh, this uh, Fluke Link Runner AT2000. Um, this is an older unit. I don't think they really make these things anymore, um, but NetAlly makes one pretty much exactly the same as what this is. Um, this is a network and fiber tester. So you can see it's got an RG45 end. Um, it also has an F SFP uh, slot here. Uh, unfortunately, this is not an SFP plus uh, port, so you can't test 10 gig in here, um, but you can test one gig uh, optic cables in here. And obviously you can put whatever GBIC you want in there. If it's multi-mode, single mode, whatever you want, and it'll, it'll test it. So this thing is super nice. Um, it does have a internal battery um, inside here that is rechargeable. Uh, you just plug in there and it'll charge up takes about maybe an hour or two before it's fully charged um, but this will last me probably a month probably without being, being charged um, given I don't use it every single day but the battery stays charged quite well um, and I've had not really had any issues with it um, it is super fast booting up one of the we just got a new one of these um, and it's got like the full digital screen on it and it probably takes a minute to, to boot. And I gave it back to one of our other guys and I kept this thing um, just because this thing is so much faster. Um, the new one that has the big, huge screen on it runs uh, like a Android version um, for their software. So I'll put a link in the description down below of the one I'm talking about. But this guy here is, is really cool. Um, so basically what, how you use this thing is you have four different indicator screens on here. Um, you can see what a switch is when you're plugged in. There's an auto test feature, which will give you, uh, the switch that you're actually plugged in by the IP address, uh, host name. Um, it'll also give you IP address or of your device. Uh, it'll pick up an IP address to make sure DHCP stuff is all working. Um, and it will also give you, uh, your, your, uh, uh, pin out of all your pins and stuff. Um, then you can also do a cable test on your wire as well to make sure um, all the pins are working or which ones are, are not working. And if you want to do toning, uh, you can tone on that as well. Um, so I'll plug in here. I'm not out, actually on a uh, enterprise network right now. I'm just on my home network, but kind of give you a quick brief uh, walkthrough of how this thing works. So you can see I'm plugged in. Um, you can see down below, it's plugged in at 100 meg right now. I have it plugged into a little, uh, just like a little four port switch right now. Um, but we can come over to auto test and hit select. And it's going to go through and say it's picked up an, uh, an IP address. So that's my IP address that I've gotten. The offer, the acknowledgement, it's valid. Um, and then you can scroll down through this. I'm just using like the little arrow buttons down here. Um, and you can click on all of these. So if you go up and click on the down arrow, you can see everything looks good there. It's being advertised. And then you can scroll down. And you can click there, and it'll tell you um, what your DNS is, what your gateway is, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it gives you a lot of information. And if I was plugged into an enterprise level switch, it would tell me what port I would be on. So if I was on switch one, port 15, um, it would say that in there. Um, the other thing on this guy that's really cool is you can go down to cable and hit select and it'll tell you that you're plugged into a switch. But if I disconnect this, so my lights went off there, go back and hit test again, it's going to show me my cable length. So there you can see I got a three foot patch cable on there. All of them look good. And you can also take this guy and plug it into itself. So you want to, if you want to check and see if your patch cable is good. So all I got there, you can just see, I just got a big loop going on. So I'll get out, hit test again. And it's going to show me that my cable's good on all pairs. So there you can see it's making a complete loop and then three foot. So that's a really quick and easy way to see if your uh, uh, patch cable's good or if your line's good, you'll get a 
know, if it's like 200 foot, you might get 200 foot. And if it has a bad pin here, it'll say like, hey, it's cut at 15 foot or whatever. So it kind of gives you an idea of where to go look um, in your wire path uh, to go fix the problem. There's also a tone button there. So if you hit tone, it'll give you some different tones going out here. So you have to hit start. So you can see it says start right there. You just hit that. So it says it's going right now because otherwise it says stop. And then if you have a toner, so I just have like a green, green lee. This was in my uh, toner kit that you saw before in this kit here. Um, you can just use this. And it'll start beeping at you. Uh, to find something else. So sometimes what I will do if I do not know where the wire is actually going, if there's two, if there's two uh, wires that I'm trying to trace out or just trying to find, um, I will hook up this guy and I'll hook up my fluke and they emit two different sounds. So I know which one, sound is which and I can test two wires at one shot. So that's kind of what I use um, that for as well. Um, and you can send this uh, to an email if you wanted to as well. There's some other options you can you can set this up within your tools. Um, so if you want to just have it automatically send you a email to give you test results, um, you can do that. I'm not sure where I think that's connection. No, nope. I don't remember where that's at. But you can do that within here. Um, but it'll give you all different kinds of information uh, within this. But if you don't have one of these things, I would highly recommend something like this. I mean, it doesn't have to be a unit like this, but they make little short stubby guys. I'm, I think they even make ones that don't have a screen. Um, that are just kind of like pocket size um, that you can carry around with you. Um, but these things make a huge difference uh, when you're out in the field uh, working on stuff. So check one of these things out. If this helped you out or if you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, um, and subscribe to the channel, and we will be back with uh, another video. Thank you.